family readers, welcome to Living the Tales with me, Priyanka. I hope you're enjoying all the stories that I'm posting. Make sure to like, subscribe and share. Are you ready for today's story? So this is a beautiful story that talks about a little girl Misty and her spiritual belief in the mother goddess. I will be reading a few chapters of the book. And if you like it, please purchase a book from the links mentioned in the description box. And make sure to watch all the way through as in the end, I'm going to give quick shout out. So let's get started as we read together. She is my mom, written by Chilsna Mary Raju. She is my mom. Written by Jyotsna Mary Raju Chapter 1 Misty Misty, Misty, get up, said Misty's mom. Birds sang choo-choo. Misty got up, knowing it was time to get ready and went outside. There was a girl named Misty who lived in the deep woods. She lived with her mom and dad. She was a simple girl who lived happily like others. She used to help her mom in the morning and used to play with animals in her free time because she did not have friends. Her parents were very religious. They had a statue in a room and worshipped it. The statue was everything to her and her mom also considered the statue as her mom. They never worshipped it like goddess, like others. Misty used to share her sadness or whatever she felt to the goddess. Considering it as her mom, she used to fight, cry, laugh, talk with it like a mother. This was the only beginning of her spiritual experience. And Misty was very small to understand what it is. Chapter 2 Woods Ah! What is it? Such a wonderful statue! What is it? Misty whispered to herself. She moved slowly and slowly to find out. One day, Misty was playing in the woods, alone with her wooden toys, which she made from the wood of the trees. While playing, she was caught up in it that she forgot where she was. She moved closer and closer, step by step, from and away from the surroundings of her home. What could it be? Misty whispered to herself. Near a tall tree, as she moved, she saw a big gold building. Wow! She whispered to herself again in delight. What a huge thing! Misty could not stop gazing at that figure in the old building. Her eyes were filled with the vision of that structure. There was something big and huge figure of the goddess which she had in her home. Misty was confused about what to do. To go in or not to the huge old building as Misty was very young and was scared as she was alone. It was a different place which she never saw before. Come in, my child. Don't stand there. You're always here, said a gentle voice. As she stepped near the old building, Misty heard a sweet voice calling her and telling her to come in again. As soon as she heard it, Misty stepped into the huge building. Chapter 3 
the old building. Miss D goes inside and feels the pillars. So big! Miss D whispered to herself surprisingly. What could it be? What could it be? Miss D's mind was asking this question again and again. Miss D, as she went inside the building, she was overwhelmed by seeing inside the huge building. There were huge pillars and everything inside was dark and silent and cold like she has never seen before. So many foods! Miss T looks in surprise at it. It's for the goddess. With a smile on her face, answered the lady. In front, there was a huge statue and there was a lady who was worshipping the statue. There were plates in front of the statue, big plates full of fruits, lots of apples and on other plate there were pomegranates, red plums. Misty sees the flowers and goes to touch them. Put the flowers near the statue, my child, answered the gentle voice. Misty goes near the statue and offers the flowers. There were flowers also like marigolds and roses and other colorful flowers. The building was inside a cave. The surroundings were cool and quiet and calming, which made Misty forget all her pain. Misty goes near the fishes and try to catch. They all run away. Swish, swish! I wish I could be like them, Misty thinks to herself. While outside was a quiet spring or a lake, there was a lot of fishes jumping in and out of the water, swimming so peacefully. Swish, swish! There were fish of different colors. Misty wishes she wants to be like them, swimming in and out so calmly in the water. Next to it was a huge tree filled with green leaves and the ripe red fruits. The tree was so huge that it made Misty jump to see how tall it is. Next to the tree, there was a huge statue of God outside the cave. Misty was very young to recognize what it is and what was going around her. Beautiful birds were sitting on the branches of the trees, relaxing. Some were eating fruits and some were singing, choo-choo. It was like the full surrounding was happily welcoming her. Misty was very happy. As Misty was looking around the building, the lady who was worshipping the goddess called her. Come, my child. The lady's voice was so calm and gentle that it made Misty step ahead near the statue. Chapter 4 The Statue Wow, so huge! Misty whispered as she never saw anything like it. The statue had three hands on the right and three hands on the left. Misty was surprised to see. There were garland on the neck of the various flowers like marigold, rose, lily and jasmine. Others would have been frightened seeing the statue was huge and big. But Misty didn't get frightened. She is like a mother, Misty whispered to herself. The lady heard what Misty said and replied, Yes, my child, she is the mother of all, the Almighty. 
Misty came closer and closer to the statue. She felt like a lady who had a fair complexion, with a warm and pleasant smile, was calling her to come near the statue. This is like the statue in home, Misty whispered. Misty was so lost that she didn't know what is happening to her. She was so attracted and felt happy seeing it, and she had the same statue, but small at home. She felt like a motherly figure is calling her to come closer and closer. The statue was smeared with red kumkum powder and sandalwood all over it, and there were huge golden rings on the legs. It had a pleasing personality, so calm that anyone would have gotten attracted to it. Watching Misty, the lady who takes care of the statue, called her in a gentle voice, "Come, my child, Goddess is calling you to serve her." Hearing her voice, Misty came closer and closer. And sat near the statue without any fear, and closed her eyes and prayed. When she closed her eyes and started praying, she saw the same figure as the statue in front of her. Don't fear, my child. I'm always beside you. So close your eyes and tell my name. I will always be beside you to help you. No one will trouble you because now you are my own," with a smiling face replied Goddess. Hearing this voice, Misty felt so happy and opened her eyes. There were tears of happiness in her eyes that now she got a friend to protect her. She felt so happy. And while leaving to her home, she thanked God for hearing her. The lady smiled at her and said, "Go fearlessly to your home, my child. Now you have the protection of the goddess with you and her word. She never breaks any promises and keeps coming here whenever you are free or want to see goddess." Hearing this, Misty nodded her head happily and left for her home. I hope you enjoyed the book. So today's shout out goes to Summer from Chicago for reading, liking, and sharing my stories. See you all again next time. Take care.